Client expectation. Client budget. Are those pineapples? <laughs> I only have cash, but I have half an hour. How much are you willing to pay? Can you pay more than a hundred? Unfortunately not. I have a hundred dollars cash on me right now. Oh, okay. I kind of want more since I almost paid 200 for it. Oh yeah, I totally understand. No worries. I'm moving soon, so I don't have a bunch of extra money. Hope you find someone. Can you not afford like 120 or 110? You listed it at what you listed it at. You can't just then immediately haggle upwards after someone says they're interested. To whom it may concern, it has recently been made clear to me that your company promised my son a free board and then retracted that promise. I understand that Blank acted out of line in requesting something other than the 8.5 inch board you offered him. That was wrong of him. And after speaking to him, he is willing to accept the 8.5 instead of the 8 he desperately wanted. Also, I want to apologize on behalf of Blank for threatening to sue you. He is a blank year old child. He does not have the resources. Do not worry, he will not be suing you. Let me know how we can proceed in getting my son the free board he deserves. Thank you. Hi Blank, I do not remember promising your son a free board. Do you have any evidence that someone in our company may have offered this to him? Hello. Yes, I do. There is this conversation between your company and Blank on Instagram. His username is Blank. I am sure you can find it on your end as well. As you can see, he was clearly told he could have an 8.5 for free. Please let me know how he can receive this board for my son. He is a good kid. He deserves it. Thank you, Blank. Ah, uh, yes. That kid. Sorry, we will not be providing a free board for him under any circumstances. You can buy one for full price directly from our website if you still want one. They are $40 plus shipping. Of course, shipping is free if you buy more than $50 of merchandise. I really think it deserves the free board you promised him. Not giving Blank a free board would be fraud, and I would hate to report your company as fraudulent. Also, think about how many people Blank will get your product in front of when you give it to him. You'll be making so much money from all the new sales he brings in. When you think about it like that, you should be paying him to ride your board. Thanks. No, we are not giving him a free skateboard under any circumstances. This behavior cannot be rewarded. As a company, we expect better from the skate community than the way your son spoke to us. Wow, you are such a freaking a-hole. He is a child that made a mistake, and now you are refusing to give him what he is rightly owed? Please forward this to your supervisor. We are going to get you fired. Also, we're still going to report fraud even if you give us a board just to teach you a lesson. Unless, of course, you give us something else in addition to the free board. Perhaps a hat? Thank you. Report us as fraud then. I do not care. I am not giving you any free gear. We will not be responding further to your emails. Also, I own the company. <laughs> Eat my coochie, little bra boy. Thanks. <laughs> like he still signed off <laughs> with some civility. Please note this promotion is for children up to 12 years of age. John Balzu is teaming up with Nature Valley on Fridays between June 14th and July 26th. Every Friday from June 14th until July 26th is Nature Valley Friday. Present a Nature Valley rapper at the admissions booth on Fridays and receive a free child admission with each paid adult admission. So not free for all kids, just one child per adult? That's not much of an offer. Still costs a decent amount to bring our family. Same, have s seven kids? Right, right on, okay. Ask the girl behind the counter for a recommendation. Caramel brownie concrete. And it was basically vanilla concrete? I asked the girl working at the register for a different flavor and the girl said no. I'm sorry, but we can get you another one if you pay for it. Give me a break. You have more custard than you know what to do with. It's about making your customers happy and satisfied instead of losing returning customers. One star review. Bar owner. We would love to have you perform at our bar on Friday. We can't pay you, but it would be great exposure for your talent. Musician. I'm having a few friends over on Sunday. I'd love to have you bring some beers and wings for us. We can't pay you, but it would be great exposure for your bar. Tit for tat, my friend. I am on the PR list of numerous brands, Anastasia, Too Faced, Makeup Geek, Colored Rain, to name a few. And whenever there is a new product, they send it to the people on their list prior to the release so that we can use the products and promote, etc. I've been trying to do that with you because I'm just trying to support a black owned business. So for you to tell me I need to stop when all I'm trying to do is be sent a pallet to promote for you for free to help your sales is the biggest insult I've ever received because I've done nothing but try to support you. I was working with you and using your things in my videos before you guys started receiving all of this popularity. So how can you be like that towards someone who's done nothing but support your brand? I really hope that you reply because at this point I'm actually hurt because I've done literally nothing to deserve how you're acting towards me right now. It's not like I'm asking for some sort of payment. I'm literally just asking to be sent the palette to do looks with it. I cannot believe your response. Thank you. Stay blessed. Are you serious? Yeah, I think they're serious. <laughs> Build a PC with the budget of $2,000 and send it to me. I want a PC now, so will you build me one so I don't have to buy one? <laughs>
Is this r slash using beggars? I'm confused. No, I want a computer that can play Fortnite. And you want someone to buy it and build it for you or just recommend parts? Yes, that'd be great, thanks. <laughs> For Father's Day, we took our dad out for dinner and one of my father's mates wanted to come. When we arrived at the restaurant, he complained that the cake was too small and orders another cake. But rather than eating it, he asks for it he take out. He leaves just before paying. When we asked him to pay, he said he thought we were paying for him, otherwise he wouldn't have ordered the extra slice of cake. When he finally agreed to pay, he said that we should pay for the extra slice for making him think we're paying. Just to clarify, he tagged along and we didn't invite him, so we weren't going to pay for him. Used car- Used carpet, maybe 800, 900 square feet total. I haven't measured it, but it's three bedrooms, living room, hallway, and four closets. You help me pull it up and haul it away, and it's all yours for a cheap price. The three bedrooms carpet is in pretty decent shape and could be used to redo some bedrooms. The living room carpet is stained pretty bad from years of dirt, so not sure if someone would want that section, but would be good for a den or pet room, maybe? I am willing to deliver if you live close by if you pay more for my time and gas, but you'd still have to help me pull it up first. Sorry, I don't have cash. Okay, I have- uh, you take card? <laughs> Suppose we refund your money, give you another dinner without a charge, close the restaurant, and have the chef shot. Would that be satisfactory? Yes, it would actually. Back in 2004, I worked at the front desk for a large mountain resort. 90% of the properties on the mountain were under our umbrella, and our front desk was open 24 hours. The other 10% were part of a different resort entirely, but since it was small, they only had employees on site from 8 to 6. And calls to their front desk would reroute to ours after hours in case there was an emergency situation. I was 21 years old, making 7 whole dollars an hour and working a 12-hour shift on Christmas Day. Because the resort was extra busy for the holidays and anyone who refused to work on Christmas was fired, it was the first time in my life I hadn't spent Christmas with my family, and I spent the day getting barked at by entitled vacationers. So, I was in a great mood already. Then, at about 11 p.m., I answered a call coming from the other resort. Resort, this is me. How may I help you? We didn't get new towels today. I'm sorry, we don't do that. It's a condo, so you're basically renting an apartment for the week. Housekeeping only comes between guests unless you make a special request. Are you kidding? We're supposed to use the same towels for a week? Yes. Who doesn't reuse towels? Do they all wipe their asses with them? That's disgusting. We already used them. They're dirty. Have housekeeping bring us new ones. I'm sorry. Housekeeping has gone home for the day. I don't even work for your resort. Their offices are all closed for the evening, and we only take their calls in case of emergency. I can't get any towels to you. You'll have to use the ones you have for now. But we need clean towels now. This is an emergency. I'm not going to wake up your resort's manager on Christmas because of your towels. There's a washer dryer in your condo if the towels are too dirty for you to reuse. How dare you? We are on vacation. We don't do laundry. Well, I'm so sorry that's not what you wanted to hear. You have ruined Christmas! Great! Have a nice night! Happy Holidays! Oof! Hashtag fact. I know people who charge less. I have clients who pay more. Ooh, I like that. I like that confidence. That was a good- That was a good reply. Why aren't you replying on WhatsApp? Oh, SARS, I hardly go on there. What's up? Can you watch over Lily? Aunt told me she'll pay 30 bucks if I watch over Lily tonight. I said okay, but now I have plans with Ryan and Ari. I'll give you like half, so 15 for you, 15 for me if you watch over Lily. <laughs> WTF? Shouldn't I get the whole 30 if I'm watching over her? No, I really need the money. Just do it for me this once, please. No, I'm actually going out with Dad today, so I can't. Maybe ask someone else? There is no one else to ask. OMG, please, I really need this. I can't, okay? I'm sorry, you should have asked me earlier. That's not my fault, WTF, I freaking hate you. You're such a dumb bruh of a sister. Frick you, don't bother talking to me either. Okay, but you're still earning 30 bucks, I don't see what the problem is. Maybe you shouldn't have made plans, stupid. Is 8 okay? Can you do $5? I'd buy it for $5. Deal. Yay, when can we meet? <laughs> Preferably tomorrow. Are you willing to drive to blank? I can do tomorrow in the afternoon. Can we meet in blank by the blank? I'd prefer not to drive all that way. I'm sorry. My truck doesn't get good miles per gallon and I had to pay for my gas. I'm still in high school. I understand. Can you at least meet me off Highway 7 by the freeway? I can meet you at blank and blank by the Walgreens. That is the farthest I'll go. Are you able to do that? You know, never mind. It'll cost me $4 in gas just to go there. It's a 30 minute drive from where I live. I understand. Sorry it didn't work out. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Ooh, that's net. Why would you say it like that? I'm the seller. The buyer comes to the seller. 
I'm a very busy student with not a lot of money and time. It would not be worth my time or money for $5 to drive where I even suggested, but I was being generous. So yes, I was sorry. I have also been very kind in all my messages. What you said was uncalled for. You were being difficult. If you had sold it to me for $3, I would have came out to you, but your price gouged me and that in the business world is not cool. I could sell that record on eBay for $15. I wouldn't sell it for $3. I was being generous selling it for five. Again, I am the seller. The seller isn't expected to drive far for what's convenient for the buyer. Yo, wanna join Blank as an editor? We're looking for editors to be able to edit team tages, montages, top five episodes, introducing edits. If interested, let me know. Thank you. Hey, so you'll need top five, montages, team tages, intro edits. Are you willing to pay $600 to $900 a month? No. What price are you willing to pay? Not a paid position at the moment. And you think I'm in the position to spend hours in creative original content slash ideas to hype your team for free? Because you DM me, I assume you know my work. However, I feel quite offended just for the fact that you thought I would consider doing it for free as I take a lot of time and pride in my work and I won't search for someone to do it instead, as too many new editors are deceived into taking big jobs with no pay. I'm going to tell you this now so you are prepared for the future, but you will never find anyone to do great work by paying with exposure. As I warn all editors in my community never to work for free, especially with such a big task like you're offering. I'm sorry, but I won't be advertising this. Have a nice day and good luck. Hello? I'm interested in your newest thumbnail. How much does it cost? Hi, it's 5 euros. Can you send it to me for free? Without the watermark? No, sorry. I spent a good hour and 30 minutes to make it, plus the watermark is for people not to steal it and claim it's their own. Well, I can't pay now, I could pay later, and can you change the color from blue to red? One, no. Sorry, you had to pay now. Two, that would cost a little bit more. Wow, you selfish frick only doing this because of money? Shame. Just give it to me for free, nobody would want to buy this. Gotta love them. Gotta love the quick flip the Choosing Beggar does. Does this exist in Houston? I wish there were modern places or like modern offices that were free where people can just come in and do work. Like a coffee shop in an office environment. Does this exist? WeWorks rents out modern office places in Houston, but obviously it costs money. Free? That's what the library is for. Just keep the noise down and answer calls outside unless they have private rooms. Man, no one wants to go to a freaking library. GTFO with that BS. I want a free office. I want an office space for free. Huh? Your name's not on our list. Of course not, because I don't belong here. You're looking at a guy who asks artists to work for exposure. <laughs> Extra hell. <laughs> I do like how they're holding hands, that's a little cute. At least the devil holds hands. Does anyone know of any places that are hiring for full time? Not restaurants or fast food. No offense to anyone who works in these places, but I never have and never will. I have more credentials than that and would have liked to move further up in a company. Must be professional workplace and decent pay. Private message me if you know of anything. Thanks. No need to say no offense and basically degrade anyone who's in that industry. Just simply put that you don't want those suggestions and end it. It sounds like you could use some tough food industry love anyway. No offense. Hi Blank, I was wondering if I would be able to use your staff discount for Evans. Hi, I'm sorry but I get a yearly cap for my staff discount and was planning on using it soon and really don't have much left. If you have a yearly cap on it and don't have much left means that you have used it loads already and find it very inconsiderate that you would keep it to yourself. Should treat a family friend better. I'll make sure to remember this. What do you mean you keep it for yourself? It's it's his your it's his discount. It's his staff discount. How is it inconsiderate? You're not working there, Dumbo. You dunce. Put on your dunce cap, stupid. Stand in the corner. I never realized saying free to a photographer was such taboo. I understand completely that gear is expensive, and I personally normally do TFP shoots. But I needed a photographer for a pre-wedding family shoot and thought, hey, I could try the group I'm in with photographers and models and I'm sure they'll help. And all but a few had said some rude things in regards to asking for a free shoot. My family is on a tight budget even with the wedding for my dad and everyone just seems so rude. I expected more from that group. I did find one. It was just hard because everyone was commenting, should I go to the grocery store and ask for free food? Should I stop my day job and ask for free stuff? This is the only time I've ever asked them for a free shoot. I found it unbelievably rude of them. Because people are trying to make some shmoney, man. Don't hit on the grind. Uh, Xbox Live Gold free codes, please? Hey guys, it's my birthday tomorrow and my mum isn't buying me Xbox Live Gold, despite the fact that I have asked her so many times over the past year, after the loss of both my aunties, Please, could one of you brilliant people send me an Xbox Live code? It would be truly appreciated to help 
get me out of my depression. And I'm fine with any codes, whether they're about 48 hours or a year. Your help would be truly appreciated. Thanks. And then the guy that made the post comments, Oh, that's very tragic. I would give you a code if I had one, but in the meantime, I think we should all give this person some support and a code, as it would help his life thoroughly. Uh, hi there. I was wondering what the turnaround time for a custom desk is. I need the height to be 700mm, with enough to fit triple 24 inch monitors side by side. I'd like a keyboard sized area at the front slanted forward for ease of typing slash gaming. Ahaya, I have a template for that exact design around two weeks before we can start it currently. Oh, can you do it sooner by any chance? I was referred by this dude. I'm sorry, two weeks from now is the best I can do at the moment. We're quite busy as somebody has stopped importing and rely on us now. Oh, thank you. I'll inform somebody that you weren't helpful at all and they'll pull the contract. How long now? Still two weeks. I will seriously notify Mark and I will advise him to not use you anymore if you can't do better than two weeks. Hmm? Uh, dos weeks. I'm not joking. Hmm? Uh, hold on a second, I'm on the phone with Mark. You are not? He said two weeks. Hmm? He's calling you now. Hello? I can't believe you actually snitched to him. You don't even know my name! I said some dude with your number is saying he wants to discuss pulling our mutually beneficial contract, Mark. Would you like to chat with him? Okay, look, I'll do you a favor since you're so nice. So, how long already? I just rechecked my schedule. And? One minute later. Well? Hang on, just crunching some numbers. If you say two weeks, I swear. Hmm? I better not say anything then. I, I wouldn't want you to swear. Just say it! What the hell is wrong with you? Oh my god, how long does it take? Never mind, screw you. Three weeks. F*** you. Okay guys, we have a position open for an unpaid internship as a personal assistant in the city of London. London. And you'll be with us to fight against slavery in a charity based in London. We're working to fight the issues of human rights. At the moment, we're looking for a personal assistant. Uh, so basically, we're looking for someone who will help us with stuff, but not get paid. To help us push the message that unpaid work is unethical. My sister needed a job. My sister, unqualified, is looking for a job. She's open to anything. She's broke, hasn't paid her rent in a month, and is borrowing money from my mother, which she has no way of paying back. I know there's few openings available at work, so I speak to the CEO and put in a good word in the hopes she'll get a job and stop taking money from my mother. My sister gets offered a community-based job, full-time, 40 hours, paying about 24 bucks an hour, above average wage in my country. She's offered flexible work hours to work around her kids, and she can bring them to work after school so she doesn't have to pay childcare. Free healthcare is also included, as there is a clinic on the site, amongst other perks. Overall, a great place to work. In true form, my sister questions the salary and then requests an hourly rate of between 30 to 36 bucks an hour. As working in the community is, is a hard job, this is more than even my boss gets paid. And she then requests to work only 6 hour days instead of 8 hour days because she doesn't think she can make full time hours work. The CEO declines her requests and she emails him saying she feels she is worth more and has other opportunities elsewhere. She still hasn't got a job, I'm humiliated that I put my name out there for it. And despite her begging for any good job opportunity, she still managed to f*** it up. I work at a toy store, edit, in Canada and get this crap all the time, but this is the first time someone demanded a manager over it in the years I've worked there, so here you go. A woman comes to with two items, and the subtotal is in the area that she has. I, I don't understand that sentence. I then apply taxes by pressing total, and she balks. I had the right amount before taxes, I swear. She laughs while sighing and digging through her purse. Sorry, this is gonna take a while. That's perfectly alright. I call someone to cash too, so we have all the time in the world. After she produces about half of her purse, she manages to get within $3 of the total, and sighs. Ah, $3 short. Jeez, sorry, this usually doesn't happen. I'm sorry to hear it. I'll hold the item for you until close if you want to come back. Uh, what? You can't just knock $3 off it? She actually turns from being sad and embarrassed with a smile to instantly angry and tilting her head at me like I'm stupid. And no, you really can't negotiate with store prices. This isn't the same as Facebook or eBay or places like that. I frown. Uh, people have literally done this for me at Walmart for like $10 though. 
Really? Over three dollars? I can't have my stuff? She's getting louder and at this point laughing angrily while looking over to other customers for people who agree. N no one is. I can hold their store items for you to purchase when you have money for them. I pull the items away. Ugh. Look, just let me talk to the manager. They always give me deals. It's not okay that I'm being embarrassed like this over three dollars. I call my manager. My manager tells her that we can hold the items, but we're not going to keep doing this. The woman leaves with a scowl after claiming we're overpriced. The manager lets me know that we did it once for her when her kid was with her because she wouldn't shut up about how she was going to get such a nice toy, but now she can't. It's a tough life. It's a tough life. I relate. So freaking livid. Need to vent. Whoever knows me, please don't even judge me. Not in the mood, okay? I should be able to say anything without any consequences. So today, my man brings me a gift. A nice Tiffany & Co bag. So I thought, ooh, something pricey, something nicey. I open it and there's a ring. Now it was no engagement ring, but instead a promise ring. I faked a smile and gave him a kiss. Whatever, real reason I'm mad is I went home, at the bottom bag was a receipt. I'm assuming in case the ring didn't fit or needed exchanging. But I got home, checked the receipt, and it was $70? Wait, $70 dollars. They included the dollar sign and the word dollars, so like, um, okay, um, be redundant. Anyway, so freaking mad that he thinks that's all I'm worth. Tomorrow I'm refunding it and buying myself something I'll actually enjoy. So mad. What the hell, buying me something I didn't ask for, just out of the kindness of your heart, but it's not worth enough, it needs to be at least 200. We've, we've been over this, Steven. I got the day off tomorrow. Who's taking me to the game? <laughs> I can. You got an extra ticket? <laughs> Lol, no. Well then, obviously you can't take me then. Just get a ticket, bruh. Oh. <laughs> it says bitch, but I thought it... I thought, I thought they censored the word bruh. This is why I asked who's taking me. So you got my hopes up, thanks. Hey, does anybody have an extra iPad that they're not using? Please let me know. If somebody wants to come over and give me a deep tissue massage, I will gladly give you a reach up. I don't know what's censored here. What, what is that word? No, please tell me, I want to know. <laughs> Someone make a GoFundMe for my rent. All these days off work is not paying my bills. So generous man, hit me up. Who wants to come chop my hair? He didn't do his part on the group project, gets mad that the other group does not let him in, and I won't put his name on the paper. I ended up doing all the work. Um, I don't know, cause they have an opening in her group and I might just join hers cause she has a really good idea. Oh, we're halfway through the project and you've done nothing and you're thinking of switching groups? Wow, I want a good grade, so... What the freak? Did you unshare the doc and delete my name? Yes, and because you, one, never did your project, and two, didn't present. What the frick? I wanted to see in which group I'd get a better grade in. Frick you, bro. Frick you. I'm a huge fan. Good work. Would love it if you harden pin my comment. Oh, and look at that. How, how wholesome. They hearted the comment. That's so sweet. Edit? I, I said to also pin it, idiot. Buckle up, boys. So, a backstory. I'm a... <laughs> I'm a, <laughs> I'm a pretty hardcore PC gamer. When I turned 17, I got a job, saved my first pay packet for a few months, and spent £2,000 on a PC. Over the past five years, I kept upgrading it, spending about £4,000 on it in total over that time. Six months ago, I was having massive issues, and it turned out my graphics card had fried. Sad face. I've been saving for a new PC, and spent a lot more on that. So I had a spare cooked PC in my room. Uh, I swapped out parts and turned it into a mini server to run in my room. All good. Uh, this Christmas, we had family at our place, including the young children. My cousin, who's 11, was looking in my room, as it's quite techy, so naturally he's interested. Another point about this child is he and his brother are not technical, they don't have mobile phones, iPads, game consoles, or even internet. They're very strange children, and they're kind of the weird family you're forced to invite to gatherings because they're family. Back to the story. He notices my mini server and says, You have two computers? I basically just agree to save the effort of explaining the difference to him. He tells me he wishes he has one and just stares at me like I'm the reason he hasn't got his own. I chuckle it off and we go back downstairs to the party. Later on, my aunt, his mum, comes up to me and asks why I need two computers. 
I explained to her about one being my main PC and another being a server. She does the technophobe hands, which are the jazz hands people do when you explain something technological to them. She asks if CB Cousin could have the PC so he can play Fortnite and Pokemon. One, it's mine, no. Two, it's a server, not a standard PC. And three, they also have no internet or knowledge of how to set up a PC. So I basically just flatly say no, sorry. She storms off in almost a tantrum. Now I consider us a normal type family. These things just don't happen. I told dad, who doesn't like them, and he just laughs loudly. We're getting weird now. A CB cousin literally sits in my room against my server under my desk for probably five hours. I ask him to come back down and he just says no. He's comfortable and just sits there. And so it gets to about 10 p.m. and people are leaving. A CB aunt and uncle get their things and get ready to go. They say CB Cousin won't leave without the PC. They look at me like this is my fault and I'm wondering where the discipline is. The CB aunt goes upstairs to get him while the rest of us just kind of sit awkwardly silent in the hallway. They're gone about five minutes. I mean, it's not a big house. Grab that little twat's hands and pull him downstairs. I go up to see what the issue is and CB Cousin is literally mounting my server. He has his arms and legs wrapped around it. All cables pulled out and on the floor everywhere halfway across the room, where he's obviously tried to drag it. Cables are clipped, cables that have been yanked out are all broken. Let me remind you that this child is almost 12. I was almost immediately getting pinged by my Discord from players letting me know that my game servers have just gone down. For those who don't know about servers, pulling the plug is very bad, as they need to be shut down properly. I just shout loudly, get the frick out. The madness peaks at this point. My cousin looks up at me and hisses, yes, hisses like a cat or a fat snake. Why a fat snake? Why not a skinny snake? Anyway. A CB aunt starts accusing me of greed to the highest degree and drags CB cousin from the room and downstairs to where basically 15 people are waiting to see the result of the carnage. They tell me I'll be receiving a bill for the therapy that CB cousin will likely need after a traumatic event that I caused which could have been easily avoided. As for the server, I needed to buy new cables and one of the storage drives had shattered when you let it fall over moving it onto its side. After about a week, everything was back to normal. I've joined my dad and brother in non-contact with this psycho family, but there's a bit extra. The last week, I received a random Facebook message from a page called PC Donations asking me if I had any spare PCs to donate to children who weren't as fortunate in my local area a small town. The page had been created about two hours prior and had zero likes and activity. Genius. Uh, hello, can I post your artwork? I always ask artists to pay five dollars for publication. Is it, is it possible for you? Okay. <laughs> Hey, I, I want to steal your work. Can you pay me for it? Yeah. Hey, I'm looking for a King Single memory foam mattress from a smoke-free home. I have a single foam mattress. You can have it for free. It's not a King Single, sorry. I'm grateful for the offer, but no thank you. It needs to be a King Single because it's the only size that perfectly fits in my camper van. Oh, no worries. It's there if you find another single. Good luck. I did measure it and only 900 millimeters wide. Oh, hi, I have a King Single memory foam mattress, was bought for 1500 I'm moving overseas so it's no longer needed. I wanted 140 but just make an offer. I need it gone ASAP. Oh, I wasn't intending on paying for it. If I wanted one for money, I'd go ahead and buy it. Hey guys, anyone have a Netflix paid subscription and won't mind sharing with me? I want to see Sacred Games. DM me please. P.S. I don't want piracy link. If don't have, better ignore. Do not suggest me Falana Dimkana. Hi, Navy Run. You have an absolutely beautiful, amazing voice. Is it true that the gig is $5 for 60 seconds? Or is there some hidden costs? Yes, it's $5 USD for 60 seconds of my vocals. That's amazing. I am happy to promote your gig on my Facebook page, which has over 300 followers. Usually, this promotion is $60 plus. But for you, I'll trade it for only 10 minutes of your vocals on my tracks. What do you think? I'm so sorry, but I only accept payments in cash, and not trades. Damn, bud. You really are one greedy son of a bee. Let me know when you can change your mind. You ain't getting any orders with your current promotion level, clearly. You know what? I lied. Your gig is crap, and nobody will order from you ever. Good luck on here without being willing to spend anything on prop motion. I'm sorry I couldn't help you. Thank you for the advice. I just got my first three orders today, by the way. And he even ended it with a smile. What an absolute professional. Hey, my friend told me you do commissions. Yeah, I do. Cool. 
What are your prices? A bust line art is $5, a bust colored is $10, a full body line art is $15, and a full body colored is $20. I take half up front for everything but bust line arts. I want a full body colored, but 20 is way too much. Will you do 10? Sorry, I don't do discounts. The price is take it or leave it. That is ridiculous. No one's ever gonna spend that much for your crappy art. I mean, my backlog of orders might disagree with you. If you can't pay for the full body, I do colored busts for $10. I don't want a bust, I want a full body. I know, but you can't pay for it. You can pay for a bust. Can't pay for it, lol. I make more in a day than you do in a month, B. Well, in that case, take all the art you want, your majesty. I had no idea I was dealing with such a high-class individual as you. F you, jerk. I don't know why anyone buys your crappy art. I'm giving you one last chance to accept my offer. Then you're getting blocked. It's a no from me. Love. F you, jerk. You sure do love naughty words, don't you? F off. No you. That's it. You're getting blocked. Your. Ooh. Hit him with a Simon Cowell no from me and a spelling correction. Okay, so I want logo for my YouTube and TikTok channel when I upload mostly some CSGO and Minecraft edits. My username is blank, so I want to have a big black B with some glow and some particles flying in the background. Send me at least five logos that were differently made so I can choose. It will also be for Twitter and FB fan page. Sure, but keep in mind that since you want five of them, it will be more expensive. Okay, no problem. I will pay Moreau if you make it today. I will try to do that ASAP, but I cannot guarantee you that it will be done today. Man, please. Look, I was planning to give you six bucks, one dollar for every draft and one for making it. Blank. That is my PayPal. Now tell me yours and I will pay you seven if you make it really quick. Eight? Hello? Where TF you at? I've spent six years studying graphic design. It cost me over $5,000 to go on them. I have also spent more than 2k on my hardware for GD and licenses, of course. And you are offering me $8 for five drafts? Yeah, but it'll only take you about an hour of your time. $8 for hour? I'm sorry, but that is more than effing good. Oh, you're, you're probably right. I'm sorry for the messages above, I, I'll do it within an hour. That is what I'm talking about. I was thinking about it. $8 is probably way too much. I'll do it for 50 cents. 10 cents for every draft. Done. I've really tried my best. What the actual F is that? This is garbage. No, my choosing beggar friend. That is not garbage. That is a 10 cent draft. And you have four more on the way. Your cheesecake looked great on Saturday. Well, thanks so much. Hope you checked out the recipe to recreate it. <laughs> what are you making next? I don't know yet, to be honest, but definitely some kind of cake. Gonna do regular this time. No keto. <laughs> Can I have it? I mean, if you live in slash near Los Angeles and want to meet me in a public spot, I'd be down. I'm in Georgia. Well, I'm afraid that confuses things. But if you're ever in LA, let me know. I can whip you up something. Can't you ship it? I don't know the rules about shipping food, to be honest. Plus, I just signed up to donate cakes to foster kids. And I think I'll go with that for the time being. But try out the recipe and make it yourself. It's really fun. You don't need everything you make. I don't? I actually don't eat what I make typically. I give it to friends or work. But there's donating anything I want to try so I can keep baking. Liar. You fat F. Not watching you stream again. I have no words, man. That's just an, that's just an asshole. That's just an asshole. Wow. You won't give me this for free? Never watching your stream again. By the way, thanks for all the free content. Hey blank, can I have this for free? I can pick it up tonight or tomorrow. Sorry, no, I can't just give away my Xbox One. Now you've had the night to think about it. Can I have it for free? Still, no. Come on, man, it's a beautiful day for charity. I just gave some guy at the train a Siggy when he asked for one. It's time for you to pay it forward. When is a good time to pick it up? How is selling a cigarette equivalent to what I'm selling? And more importantly, how is you giving someone worth maybe 50 cents mean I should give you something worth $735? Cost is all relative, man. If you have one million dollars, then seven hundred and thirty-five dollars is pocket change. If you have twenty dollars, then giving a cigarette to someone is a sizable donation. One is good for pickup, bud. I like how that guy just stays right on target all the way through. He is unwavering the entire time. This just happened this morning. 
I have an old Atari 800XL computer in my home office. I have owned it since 1984 and play with it pretty regularly. For the past 26 years, I've had a Magnavox CRT monitor plugged into it. A few days ago, said monitor finally gave up its last ghost. Rather than pull it apart again, I decided to stick it on the shelf for later and replace it with something a bit newer. It didn't take me long to find an old 20-inch 4x3 aspect ratio LCD television set on Craigslist for $20. The set has coaxial cable inputs as well as composite, component, and S-video. So it would be a nice upgrade. The ad was 12 days old, so I emailed the owner to see if it was still available. It was, so I made arrangements to pick it up this morning. I head over to his house, an average suburban house, smallish, in need of a little landscaping work out front, about 15 minutes from where I live and he greets me at the door and invites me in. He's maybe 22 or 23 years old and pretty slovenly, unshaven, kinda dull looking, dirty white t-shirt and jeans, no shoes, but whatever, I'm not here for a date. The TV is on the table and I ask him if I can look it over and he agrees. I turn it on and the screen lights up. Prepared, I pull out my old iPod Classic and composite video cable, hook it up, and in about a minute, it's playing a video on the screen. Last night, I ripped the Avengers Endgame trailer and put it on my iPod for exactly this test. Good enough, I reach into my pocket for my wallet and a conversation like this happens. Okay, I'm happy. You wanted $20, right? How did you do that? Do what? Get it to show the movie? Oh, it's just an old iPod with a composite video cable. But how did you get it on the screen? The video is stored on my iPod. When I connect my cable to my iPod into the television, the iPod will play whatever video I select onto the television screen. It also works with pictures and music. I then play the beginning of a Billy Joel song to demonstrate. I didn't think anyone could use this TV anymore. Pulls out a $20 bill from my wallet. Well, it's older tech, it's not high definition, and is pretty small in comparison to what you can buy today, but it's not useless. At home I have a really old computer and I'm gonna use this as a monitor. If it's still useful, then I think it's worth more than $20. You were asking for $20, so here's $20. No, I didn't think this was worth anything. If you can get it to play videos, then it's still worth something. I want $50. Are you serious? Yeah, give me $50 and you can have it. This isn't worth $50. Sure it is. You just showed me that. No. What I showed you is that your $20 television works as well as a $20 television is expected to work. It's not worth $50. Whatever, man. $50 or no deal. Seriously? You've had it listed on Craigslist for almost two weeks and got no offers on it. Now all of a sudden you think you can jack it up to $50 and the offers are going to come pouring in? I just didn't list it right. I didn't know it could do all that video stuff. It's a television set. What kind of video stuff did you think it could do? But that's different. It works with new iPods. I didn't know that before. Good lord. Fine. No deal. You're lost, man. Sure it is. Thanks for wasting my time. I put the $20 back in my wallet and let myself out. Disgusted. As I'm walking out the door, another car had pulled into the driveway and the driver was getting out. A middle-aged woman. She greets me with a genuinely friendly smile and asks if I'm here for the television. I tell her that I was, except that Choosing Beggar jacked up the price by 150% after seeing the TV actually work. And I'm not willing to spend $50 on a 15-year-old television set. Her smile never left her face, but her eyes lost the smile for a heartbeat. She asked me, Would you mind waiting here for a moment? I told her I would. She grabbed a bag of groceries, told me she'd be right back, and headed into the house. I heard nothing for about 15 seconds. Then a huge shouting match. I was shocked. The woman who I spoke with couldn't have been more than maybe 5 foot 3 and about 140 pounds, but it sounded like Mount Vesuvius had just erupted. This woman was loud. I heard words like lazy crap and drinking with your friends and get a job and wasted life and a lot more. I busied myself with my phone and waited. About two minutes later and it went quiet, and shortly afterwards the door reopened. The woman in Choosing Beggar came out, Choosing Beggar holding the television along with the power cable and remote control. The woman came over to me and ever so politely asked me if I'd still be interested in the television for $20. I said sure. I gave her the $20 and Choosing Beggar put the television into my car without saying a word or looking at me. The woman thanked me very much and told me if there was a problem when I got at home to let her know. I thanked her, got into my car and left with my television. Part of me feels like I should feel bad for choosing Beggar, but somehow I don't. Wow, that wraps up like a Disney movie.
climax, the resolution, it was all there. Delivery is on us, National Burrito Day. Hmm, for Burrito Day, you think there'd be some sort of discount. Free delivery is a discount, it usually costs something. The choosing beggar here is my cousin who, in her early 30s, decided to go back to school. She asked our grandma for help, and grandma generously offered to pay her tuition for the first year. Only problem was that grandma trusted her. So instead of wiring the money to the school account, she gave cousin cash. A week before school was to start, cousin called grandma saying she's $5,000 short because she frickin' bought herself a car. Another cousin and I confronted her on grandma's behalf because grandma's really upset about it, and she said, how else am I supposed to go to my classes? There are plenty of buses to and from campus, honey. Y'all are selfish. I'm broke, so what's the problem with me taking a little money? She, Grandma, doesn't spend her money anyway. Yeah, definitely Grandma's responsibility that you are unable to secure a job, spend what you earned on vacations, totaled two cars in three years, and are totally broke at your age. Best part was she called me heartless because I'd rather spend money on my child than help her out. Quote, if you can afford kids, then you can help me. Maybe I can, but I don't have to, and I don't want to. Long story short, she didn't get any more money from my family. Some backstory. My mom sold some stuff online. That lady, choosing beggar, wanted to buy a lamp my mom was selling because we didn't use it anymore. She came to pick it up, but my mom wasn't there, so I had to take care of it. Hi, I'm here because of the lamp you're selling. Hello? Yeah, that would be 50 bucks. Choosing beggar actually paying without trying to negotiate. Alright then, have a nice day. Could I get your Wi-Fi login? What? No, I can't just give away our password. Why not? I can't find my way home otherwise. I come from... Name of town that is literally just 10 minutes away from where I live. Oh, well, I can just tell you how to get there if you want. No, just give me your Wi-Fi. Ma'am, I won't give you our Wi-Fi password. You little crap. Just give me your Wi-Fi and I can use maps to find my way home. Again, I won't just give you the password. As I said, I can give you directions. Also, you can literally just take the same way you took to come here. What is your goddamn problem? Actually, you should give me my money back. Ma'am, you already paid. And also, why would I? Give me my money back! This is robbery and I'll call the police if you don't give me my money back. Alright then, good luck with that. Choosing beggar knocked on the door and rang the doorbell aggressively. I obviously didn't open. After about 10 minutes, she finally left. Some days later, she wanted to buy some other things. We ignore all of her offers since that day. I refuse to date a man if he can't afford to fly me to Greece or do buy. Do by when, sweetheart? From this morning. Not gonna lie, it tainted my Sunday. <clears throat> oh boy, here we go. Hi, why do you not give out your 3D files for us to print with our own printers? It's freaking selfish, dude. You should send the files to me on Thingverse. Thingverse? Thingiverse? I don't know what that is anyway. So I don't have to spend $400 on your stupid shit. Don't be a jackass greedy bastard. Let us make the stuff you make too. Uh, hi. I'm sorry you feel that way, but this is my full-time job. I spend a lot of time making the models and the prints. I supply a quality service to the members of the Siege community, and they are more than happy to support me. Your stuff sucks, dude. You better let us make them or I'll find your place and you will regret. Ooh, sounds like an actual threat to me. Not a beach for romance or wedding pictures. The beach was clean and a beautiful sight. I give it that. But it was always cloudy here or rain every time I came to this side of the island. I thought it would be a little more private with upper class people here or family friendly things like the other side of the island with beaches. I was under the impression that I could get beautiful wedding pictures here on the beach since I just got married here. Disaster, disaster, disaster all the way around. The beach was crowded for the sunset. Tons of 20 year old kids that were disrespectful. Plus, the tons of people would not move out of the way for our wedding pictures. Aw, they gave us dirty looks like we had no right to be here. Wow, me and my husband were shocked with our kids. We're Christians and have never been treated like that before, all right? We ran into a lot of drunk people. No compliments out of their mouths. I would not recommend this beach for lovers or happy Christian families with small children or even just getting married pictures. Very, very bad experience here. God bless. Thank you for hearing what is in my heart. I mean, I heard it. Doesn't mean I was listening. The Caveman Painter. All right. What do they draw in here? Oh, I see. You cave painting good. Me like. Draw me idea, yes? Okay, pay with Barry. No need. Me tell all clan you paint good. <laughs> Ever since the beginning, that's what we've been pulling, huh? Holy lord. Okay. <clears throat> 
Welcome to my bridal party. I'm so excited to marry the man of my dreams. As you know, this is going to be a very different wedding. We're hoping to do it outside and understand December is generally a cold month, but in Oklahoma, it's usually sunny and 70 degrees. Just a few things to ask. I handpicked all the dresses and bridesmaids that will be there and they will all be a size eight. So if you're not a size eight, I recommend hitting the gym. Ooh, bitch. No offense to anyone, but I've had this plan since I was in diapers and want it perfect. Oh, sweetie. Your nails need to be cut, short, and uncolored. Hair needs to be shoulder length and straightened. So if your hair is short, get extensions. No fake tans. As you may notice, my bestie, whoever that is, isn't the maid of honor and is just going to be a guest. If you don't know why, just ask. We have an understanding. We also want no kids at the ceremony. Oh, that part's fair. Except my flower girl. But she will only be present to throw flowers and then her parents are taking her home. Woo! Wow, this is a wild one. I'm sorry if this seems like a lot of demands, but this isn't a special day? What? Please be respectful and we will have an awesome time. One last thing, I'll be sending my Venmo and Cash App to the ones who haven't paid the $500 donation towards the honeymoon. Oh man, I give that marriage like three weeks. When I was doing my time, my MD used to constantly bitch about how they didn't understand why great candidates were getting harder to find. When pay was brought up, the response was always, just think of the strength of the brand. Damn, is the strength of the brand going to pay for my life? Pure boomer sh**. <laughs> I love it. Won't anybody please think of the brands? Please? 1.3 stars. I didn't know you could do that. All right. You replied, Hi, Dia. On your order notes, you wrote, NHS doctor, please add any extras. Thank you. We put in the extras, but despite that, you requested a refund and gave us a poor review. Shame on you. Please don't take your occupation to your advantage. We appreciate all the hard work the NHS do, but please keep in mind, we must also support small businesses. Everyone went through some sort of hardship, especially during this pandemic. No one gets a free pass. No one gets to say, but the pandemic was hard. Yeah, no shit, it was hard for everybody. The fuck? My mom can buy a $12,000 car, but can't even buy me a flagship phone that costs $1,600 or even an iPhone. Okay, wait, an $11,398 car. Let's think about that critically for just a second here. It wasn't new. It's not like she went out and bought a brand new BMW because you can't get any new car for like 12 grand here in the States, to my knowledge, even if you strip it down to bare bones. So your mom bought a used car after what, years of saving for it? And you're bitching about your little iPhone? Would you take $20 and does everything work good? Everything works, it's only been listed for an hour so the price is firm at 40 bucks for now. Okay, I am a senior and on social security a fixed income. I'm a graduating student with $280,000 in student loans at 7.6% interest. I understand, Chris, but I have a lot of health issues and can only do a certain amount. I understand, Susan, but you're not listening to me. Here you go. Maybe if I work super hard for years, really push myself to improve my craft and establish myself as an artist, and even start my own business with my art, then people will respect me and stop asking for free art. This is for all the artists out there. Don't do work for free. Remember, if you're good at something, never do it for free. Just in general, as a rule. What's wrong with it? Nothing. Just got married and don't game anymore. Just read not graphic card, man. What? Yeah, that's why it's 500 and not well over 1,000. Why is graphic card so much? If you can get me a video card, I buy it from you. You just need a full working gaming PC for my son. I'm not gonna buy you a graphics card so you can buy my computer. <laughs> Holy crap. Hi, my name is Blank. I'm a young independent photographer slash insta baddie looking to move into a cozy place long term with a couple of housemates. My job is in between busy patches, so naturally I wouldn't be able to pay rent. Oh, naturally. Okay. But I more than make up for this with doing the dishes, cleaning the house, and providing everyone with a fun, cool vibe. He's never gonna do the dishes or clean the house. A couple of rules. Must be all female housemates. Sorry, guys. Yikes. Vegans only. No murderers. Preferably muso-friendly. I'm a master of the drums in kalimba. No noise after 10 p.m. Bitch, you play the drum. Shut up. My current landlord has given me two weeks notice, so I'm looking to move out soon. Hit me up if you're interested. I'm not gonna do that. Stop it with the racing games. They're boring. Then don't watch. You be quiet. He's gonna do what I want. I'm the viewer and he has to respect me. You stop being so nosy. It's not up to you. It's up to me. Then unsub. Be quiet, you. You don't get to decide anything. I do. Damn, we found it. 
We found the king viewer of the channel. It's crazy. Looking for custom illustration artists who can work for me under $5 on a long-term basis, high volume work. If things go well, there will be a lot of business for us. Five bucks a day, huh? I created this. You'll never make a living from art. Can I have it for free? <laughs> Look, I'm just gonna tell you right now, if anybody, and I mean anybody, tells you that you can't make a living doing something that you are good at, maybe just think critically about how smart they are, or rather their lack of smartness. Because here I am making a living, and I read memes, for God's sake. Will you take 60? No. Fuck you then. Cry me a river. No thank you. Girl, at least I don't have to draw in my eyebrows the fuck. Well, at least I have a fridge. Oh! Jacob! You just got pounded, my guy! The couple invited family and friends to their dream home for their weekend wedding celebration, saying it was God's plan that they should get married there. Just one problem. They didn't own the mansion and didn't get permission from the owner. So they broke and entered on somebody else's property. Man, I'm just happy they didn't end up getting shot or something like that. Who the hell does this? I mean, I want you to think for a second. Like a group of like 30 Karens show up at your house all ready to party. You don't know who they are, but it's God's plan for them to chill at your house. Hi, is this still available? Yep, sure is. I'm here due to a sudden emergency surgery for my daughter's surgery, so not completely strapped for cash as I... What? Had to pay for the surgery bills. People are really bad at typing on Facebook. I do apologize. I'm doing my best. I'm very desperate to get this for myself as I have to stay here for about two weeks due to her surgery and haven't got a way to study for my uni exams. Just wondering what the lowest you could do is or if you would be willing to give it away just to help a family in need, please. I know it's a really big ask, but I'm so desperate and worried I'll fall behind on my studies while I'm stuck here. Are you able to help me at all, please? No. Fuck you. Remember, nothing in life is free. Okay, then pay me for this internship. No, no, my child, you'll get experience. Oh, then fuck off then, you know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, I'm really sick and tired of unpaid internships that actually don't lead to jack shit. I'm looking for an easy, low-pressure, full-time job. I'm a young professional in search of an easy job. I want to find a full-time position, not fast-paced and not commission-based. Well, not being commission-based is fair. I have an eye for detail, and I like to take my time with everything I do. However, I can bust some stuff out quick if I'm in the zone. I have many talents and I am physically fit, but do not wish to find a very physical job. I have a strong customer service background and some sales experience, and I can be very personable when I choose to be. Oh, when you choose to be, huh? Okay. I can work as part of a team or individually, but I prefer to be left alone. I have a lot of energy, and I have a hard time sitting still. I like to think out problems and creative solutions for them. It is important to me that the people I work for are good people with a conscience. Lastly, I need to make annually over $46,000. To do nothing? Seriously? With the thousands upon thousands of dollars being raised and food being collected, this is what the- Oh, oh you little bitch. I am stunned. Not even a bottle of juice for my children? Please don't get me wrong, I'm forever grateful. No, you're not. This is literal proof that you aren't grateful and you're being a jackass. But I want to know where all that money and food went to. A turkey, a five pound bag of potatoes, two boxes of stuffing, a bag of carrots, a bag of apples, and a bag of oranges, one can of string beans, one can of cranberry sauce, and one loaf of bread, one box of chocolates, and a dozen sugar cookies. Why didn't we even get juice or butter? Dang, that's actually a lot of food though. You are a horrible whiny bitch. Hey, do you mind unliking my comment? It's bothering me that 48 people laugh reacted and you only liked it. I'd prefer it if you just didn't respond. Oh, honey. Shut up. Makeup artist needed, not paid. And then you don't need one. This Saturday morning, I'm an actress shooting some headshots this Saturday and I need a clean and nice look, like Playbills actors. Basically, I propose a collaboration and credits on Instagram and Facebook. No, honey. That's not how this game is played. You want a service, you pay for it. You know what? Tell you what. I'll do it. I'll do it for free. However, when you get the photos back, you're gonna realize that I juggaloed you up. Now hiring help for my new apparel line. Must meet this criteria. Okay, here we go. Must be pro-America. Must be female. Must be fit and hot. Must be smart. Must be at least a C cup. Must make lunch and must live in the San Diego area. Must make lunch, you Freaking loser. Also, come on, Alpha American Apparel? That's some cringe shit, Huff. Why don't I get free stuff? 
I actually have a pretty unique program where I exchange free items to people who send me free money. The program will be in full effect tomorrow, Friday, May 7th, during our restock. Aha! $600 for a go-kart? What? Where is this? How about 125? Sorry, no. 110? That's not how negotiating works. That happened to me like three days ago when selling my Switch. Some guy just kept going lower. Yeah, sure, you can have it for 50 bucks, you freak. People who quit their jobs on the first day, what was your I'm outta here moment? I answered an ad for a babysitting job. I was already working on a casual basis, but it was so sporadic, so I thought after hours babysitting would be welcome extra cash. The couple were both in the military and proceeded to tell me that I would be staying in their spare room and looking after their six-month-old child around the clock as well as doing the housework. I would have one day off every two weeks. They said it is cash in hand so I could sign onto the dole, unemployment benefit, to make up the rest of the money. I left on the spot. They wanted a live-in housemaid and nanny, not a babysitter, and they were not able to pay for one. Why they thought it was up to me to illegally collect the dole to subsidize them, I don't know. The way I see it, the only crappy, non-livable wages the American people's taxes should pay for is from Walmart, Home Depot, McDonald's, Taco Bell, basically anything in the food industry. <gasps> the list could go on and on, but no, 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 no. Not these people. If you didn't catch that, that was what I call sarcasm. Freelancer has died of exposure. Press F. A while back, this one. Some background, though. I had once driven a friend who didn't wear their seatbelt and copped a $300 fine for it. To this story, a family friend's son needed a lift to the airport early one morning for a long planned trip. I lived about 10 miles from their place, and the 30 mile trip I was taking to work the opposite direction took me right past the airport. So it was a bit extra time out of the morning. 15 miles to the west to pick up the suns, then 45 miles east instead of 30 east, but the bagged and both phoned me and I said I was good to give them the lift. I turned up in the morning, loaded up the gear, and the sons both in the car and said goodbye to their parents. And we took off. Drove a few miles up the freeway and my seatbelt alert starts pinging. Son one in the front seat has taken off his belt. I asked him to put it on, he goes, Nah, I don't do seatbelts. So I pulled over. Looked back at the other son in the back seat, which didn't have alarms, and sure enough, he'd taken off his belt too. Then the arguing started. I was blunt as I could be that I'm not risking my license and my money so that he could get a free lift. I didn't care one way or another about it. Roughly as follows, paraphrased because it was years ago, but they were both in on it. I'm not moving this car unless the belts are on. I've been fined once before, not doing it again. I told you, I don't do seat belts. Dad's okay with it. I'm not. And you, son too, yours on too. Not moving until they're on. Do you have any idea how dangerous they are in an accident? Son one then puts it behind him and clicks it in. No, belt goes around you, doesn't count. You'll turn the alarm off. Go. You'll see. We need to get going. <laughs> we can, when you put the belt on. I don't give a crap about the alarm. I care it's a 600 buck fine if you two don't have belts on. Come on, we'll be late. Your flight's not for another hour and a half. Belt's on. Son one then calls his dad, complains we stopped. Dad asks why. Son one explains, then his dad tells him to just put the belt on. Someone says okay, but didn't notice I'd heard his dad's side too, and said his dad says I need to get a move on. Me. Not. Until. Belts. Are. On. This goes back and forth to the point I'll be late for work if I don't get going. Son one is all, fine then, turn around, I'll get dad to drive. Belts on then. No, I told you already. Then we're not moving. I get out my phone and browse idly showing I'm not moving until their seat belts go on. Son one phones his dad again. His dad sounds really pissed but agrees to pick them up. Both sons get out, take their bags. One slams the door and boot and I drive off. Choosy beggars left behind. I get to work, then get a phone call that son two left his main luggage in the car and they want it dropped off at the airport urgently. They're flying out soon and they need it now. I tell them to get a taxi and I'll meet them out back at my work. They decided to argue it's my responsibility to get them the luggage and again, argue the point. Half an hour later, one turns up in a taxi to get the other's luggage. I should know here, I really don't know these guys well at all. I know one's name for sure and I think I know the other, but I might have mixed them up with a cousin from the same suburb. Later that afternoon, I get a phone call from their dad that I've wasted his son's tickets. They weren't able to fly out, couldn't rebook quickly, and they'll miss half their vacation time now. And it was all my fault for stopping so long. I try to explain as clearly as possible that I wasn't going to risk another huge fine and piss off my employer just for the inconvenience of a couple ungrateful idiots, but ended up just hanging up on them. I'm still friends with their mother, who was the original friend of the family, but things are a bit strained between me and her husband and sons. Sons were about 21 and 24 at the time it happened. I thought those seatbelts, you idiot. You, you're allowed to vote and you don't wear a seatbelt? Moron. Old garage be torn down. 
You were buying the building. 400 cash. I'm not paying anybody. Garage to tear down. $400 cash to me before you start. Must get down and hold off in seven days. No excuses why you can't. Not liable for getting hurt on my property. Garage door, electric service, everything goes. You are buying the building and hauling it off. Condition is used, good. <laughs> Why would this man ever think I was gonna date him? Stop playing yourself, ugly. Glooks for the pizza. Wow, that feels bad, man. Details. It's official. We are thrilled to announce the grand opening for blank on Friday, May 24th at 10 a.m. Get here early. We're serving our delicious cinnamon rolls for $1 from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. only. Open for business all day. Limit $1 roll per customer per visit. All additional orders are regular price. <laughs> Must be present at the time of purchase, ages three and up. Three and up for it? You giving a three-year-old a cinnamon roll? No call in orders until 6 p.m. What a waste of time to go there with a restriction of one, one, per person per visit. This place sure knows how to take one off. They could stick their buns up their buns. It also says you can buy as many as you like at regular price. I'm ensuring that everyone has a chance to get a bite and not having people just buy an entire load of $1 buns because it's cheaper. It's a grand opening, not a moving sale. Hashtag gluttony. Hi, is it still available? $200 good work contactable? Yeah, not for 200 Good luck elsewhere. Wow, that's exactly like the lawnmower my grandfather was using when he had a heart attack and died. Damn, that sucks. $500. <laughs> Hello guys, I'm 21 years old, I have 4 kids and they are 6 years, 4 years, 1 year and 5 months. Looking for a guy who is working and will support me financially, also send my kids to private school. Thank you. <laughs> I'm in disbelief. I'm in genuine disbelief. That's a real post, a real person made that. <laughs> I'll pay you whatever your rate is because I love your art and understand how hard you work. And that's giving me goosebumps just saying that. Photographer looking for people to do their job for free in Chicago. I am a photographer and since people are always looking for free shoots, I assume that they must also do their job or provide their services for free. I am looking to hire all types of people to do all sorts of jobs for me as long as I do not have to pay anything. Just think, you will gain more experience and I will put the word out for you and let everyone know what wonderful work you do. This opportunity will bring you a ton of unpaid work, but everyone will love you. So if you have a job or service you provide and will do it for free, please let me know because I am sure I have work for you and will hire you in a second. Feel free to email me with a service you can provide, when you can start, and please include references. I look forward to your free service. So, a guy bought me a drink when I was out last night and I gave him my number and... Clo Matt is officially retiring from Nights Out. Hey, who's this? <laughs> we met in Attic last night. Oh yeah, denim dress? That's the one. Nice one. Could you transfer me for those drinks I bought you last night since we didn't go home together? Wasn't really worth my time, was it, lol? That's gross. I mean, fair enough, that's what he was after, but it's gross. <laughs> it's just yucky. Hey, is this still available? Oh, hi, yes, this is still available. Are you interested? Yes, but I was wondering if you could lower the price a bit. Um, sorry, but the ad was listed as non-negotiable. The price is $200, either keep it or leave it. Frick you, I wanted this for my daughter. She really wanted this, but I can't afford it. Yeah, and I can't afford losing a $200 makeup bundle. Selling never used Apple headphones. Can I have it? Mine's broke. It has a headphone jack. Yeah, it's good for me. Okay, just making sure. So, 20 bucks? Uh, what price you thinking? I don't know even. Is it old, old? No, like came with my iPhone SE, which I got in 2015, 2016. Never used. Do you need money for it? Because I'm broke, I think. Well, I'm selling it for money because I'm also broke, lol. I can drop down to 15 if you want. Well, both of us is broke, so... I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't know. Lowest I can go is 15, otherwise I'm ripping myself off. I'll take it for free, but I don't know if I can get the money. I don't know about that, because I had that happen before and he literally took it and moved school so I never saw him again. Oh, but yeah, but it's so old. And it's a link of those exact headphones selling for 39 bucks. That's not how it works though. Well then I don't think I'll take it, cause paying is gonna be hard for me. Okay, you can contact me again when you have the money and I can sell it to you if I haven't already. Okay, thanks. No prob. But can I see it, like, out of the case to see if it's worth it? I never took it out. Since I never took them out of the wire, I bent to how it was originally. All you have to do is straighten them out with a light pull and it's all good. Can I just borrow it? Please? I don't know if I'll get a new phone. No. The whole point of selling is to trade. In this case, money and headphones. Can we trade? What? A trade for a trade. Trade what? Anything. Fifteen bucks? I don't know though, last time someone gave me the same thing for free. 
That was someone, not me. Well, it's just old headphones. Well, they are still worth money. Just allow me. Allow you what? You're just gonna waste the money. What are you talking about? You are buying the headphones off me that doesn't make sense because the money would be mine so it wouldn't matter to you what I do with them. Never mind, bro. <laughs> yeah, nice try. I wasn't trying to trick you, bro, like crap. Calm. I know, bro. Okay. But would you give it to your friends for free and you don't need it so give it for free? Ask your parents for money, bro. What do you mean? I'm not giving it to you for free. Listen, kid, this is how business works. I have a product and you want it so you buy it. Are you going to go to his store and tell them that he would give his products to his friends for free? You must be dumb to think that because I'm giving away things that I paid for for free. So stop begging and tell me to take money from my parents and if you truly wanted it, then buy it. I'm not buying it from you because you think I'm a kid when you're the dumb kid so when you just want to hug it for yourself instead of just giving other people like crap. What are you going on about? I actually don't want it anymore. I'm not dumb for selling a product. And I'm not a stupid kid. Sure, if you don't want it, then stop texting. Fine, bye stupid. <laughs> Okay, bye. Choosing beggars. Can I have this for free? Seller. No. Choosing beggars. But it's a hobby. My kids are sick and won't have a Christmas. Korean restaurant near me had its fair share of choosing beggars. Please note, if you order the food, you have to pay for it. No exceptions. Thank you, management. Ran incoming. I'm done being taken advantage of. Absolutely no more free photos anymore, period. I'll probably lose a lot of business because my photos aren't good enough for the 98% of the clout chases around here anyway, but them's the breaks. I'm through feeling unappreciated and worthless. If you want to shoot, it's $150 for a set of 25 edited shots at two locations. Don't like it? Too bad. Get your money up. Unless I volunteer it, then I'm not free anymore. Time and equipment cost money. You can't pay bills with exposure. People these days will buy merch from their favorite celebrity and support the business of someone who doesn't even know they exist. But God forbid they pay full price for the services of someone they know personally. Just because you know someone and can name drop doesn't entitle you to a discount. I get doing photography for fun. I once did. If you're trying to make a living out of it or get some extra income, don't accept cloud as a form of payment. They won't keep the lights on in your house or gas in your car. I am absolutely not the best photographer in my niche in my area. In fact, I personally believe I'm kind of overrated, but I'm tired of seeing us autistic types not being compensated accordingly for our time and effort. I'm done with my rant for now, but I hope you other photographers agree with me and start charging for the amazing content you create. Your time and your investment in photography is worth just as much as anybody else's efforts. Get paid. You deserve it. And that's something you can take home to everyone. That's a true fact. If you really, really love something, you will actually spend money to do it instead of expecting getting paid to do it. <laughs> Choosing beggars, lol. Hi, can you take me today? Let me know ASAP, otherwise I'll have to go elsewhere. Hello, can you please answer me? You're my first choice, but I'll go elsewhere if need be. I guess you don't want my business. As a longtime client, I am extremely disappointed. I will not return as a client due to this behavior on your part. Hi, I'm sorry, I was sleeping. I'm off today, but if you'd like, I can see you tomorrow? Can you take me today? No, I'm off today. I have tomorrow, Thursday, or Saturday available. I need it for today. Can you make an exception for me? No. I'm sorry, I have plans with my kids today. I can refer you to someone wise? I don't want to go elsewhere. I can bring my daughter, she's 16, she can watch them for the hour if you need. I really can't today. I can come right now or anytime. Maybe when you get back? It's important that I get my lashes done today. My day with my kids is very important as well and I won't know when I'm coming back and don't want to cut the day short. You're making me very uncomfortable continuously asking me when I keep saying no. Bruh. Worst customer service. What's the point of being a loyal client if it won't pay off? Such a bruh. I need a model today ASAP. You pay $70 cash app or PayPal, you pick the color and I pick the design. Let's make this Monday magical. Free. Looking for a small dog, nothing big. Don't have money to pay for one as I need to get shots and meds. Check animal control and adopt for like $150. Neutering and shots included. Also, consider not taking on the ongoing financial responsibility of an animal who depends on you if you can't even afford its basic medical needs. Can someone please bring me Chick-fil-A to work? I haven't had it in literally two months and no, I don't have no money to pay you back so it could just be a little gift from you? No, it can't be a little gift from me. How about you stop contacting me? How much for Yeezys I saw you were selling? What size? Do you have a five or five and a half? Size five. How much are you selling for? I really want a pair. And where'd you get them? Adidas New York and I want $950. That's way too much. I can get them cheaper elsewhere. I might as well go to Flight Club for that price. Thanks anyway. And then it's $1,500 at Fight Club. I'm sorry, Flight Club. Okay, go to Flight Club. A-hole, you should be giving girls good prices. You're why I hate men. <laughs> sorry, what? Do you still have them? No. <laughs> Pig. What is this girl's problem? Do you still have the shoes that I just insulted you about not giving me a lower price for? 
I don't understand. Why do people not like sharing their Netflix passwords? It's not like you pay per watch. You don't understand why they won't give you access to something they pay for for their own personal use? Just got paid from a recent freelance job. Check it out. Just a piece of paper. The United States of Freelancia. It's exposure bucks. I love it. North Korea refuses food aid shipments smaller than 300 tons. Food shortages loom and the regime begs the UN for food while refusing smaller donations. Got him. Do you still do minimalistic logos? <laughs> yep, are you interested? Let me see some of your work first. What do you think? Okay, I'll have one with the initial ZH, black and white. Okay, it's $8 PayPal. The frick? I ain't paying crap, I thought this was a nice person making logos. Plus I'm giving you exposure cause I basically got your watermark permanently on my page. I'm sorry I misled you. Have a nice day.